If you love Jesus, I have a, a, a lesson that, um, well, I don't know if I'm teaching anybody but me. In fact, I think I'm teaching only me today. You guys can watch, but I, this, is, this is for me because I, I've been kind of a grump today. I'm sorry. It's a story. No, no, it's totally fine. I promise. It's okay. About a boy with a bad temper. Uh-huh. This off is not you. <clears throat> um, it, it, this story is not about me specifically, but it can apply to me today. That's for sure. Well, this boy, was he bored. had a really bad temper. Bored. Oh, okay. That was a joke. That was a joke. Got it. Yeah, that, was, that was a good, good joke. <laughs> Well, he had such a bad temper that when people would do things that annoyed him, he would he would shoot off at the mouth and say mean things, and he would hurt them uh, by with words. You know, he was just he was just kind of a, a mean uh, per, hmm. person, kind of like I have been. But he talked to his dad about it because it was starting to bother him, and he knew he was hurting people, and he didn't like how he felt afterward. Kind of like how I don't feel very good about myself right now. So he talked to his dad and he said, Dad, I want to do better. I want to change. I don't want to be the way I am. Hel help me, Dad, to learn more about God enough where I can stop losing my temper and saying mean things. Right. Good thing. Good thing. Mm -hmm. So his dad had a really weird response. He said, Son, I want you every time. He said, I'm not even telling you to stop having a bad temper. Now, that's the ultimate goal. Huh? He said, but what I want you to do is every time you lose your temper, I want you to get a nail and get a hammer, and I want you to go to the back fence, and there's a board on the top there. Oh. We just replaced it. Fenced. On that board, I want you to take a nail and just knock it into the wood. And huh? the boy said, Dad, that's the weirdest thing anyone's ever told me. He said, I know, I know, just... Just trust me on this. Humor me. He said, and, and we'll see uh, how, how life goes. Well, can you hold these for me for a second? Well, this boy, let me just tell you, he lost his temper almost immediately. Not, not with his dad, oh. but with his mom. His mom told him to do something, and he got mad. And he said, Mom, this is not okay. And he shot off his mouth, and as soon as he did it, he go, oh, this is what Dad's talking about. He ran to the back fence, and he drove a nail into the wood. Ooh, okay. Just like that. Uh-huh. Well... Something about knocking that nail into wood actually kind of made him feel a little bit better, which is weird. Oh, okay. Well, a few minutes later, though, his sister did something that irritated him, and uh. he said more things that were hurtful, and he called his sister some, some pretty, pretty mean things, and so he knocks another nail into that back fence, and in just a few minutes, he had to run back there and drive another nail in. Ooh, two in one day? Oh, it got worse. <gasps> because worse. soon his friends made him mad. No. And so he had to knock another nail in. And then he was at school, and his teacher said something, and oh, that kind of set him off a little bit. Uh -oh. And so he put another nail in, and then another one, and then another one. Let me just tell you, it was a long day, oh, a no. long day of oh. people How making him upset. And he kept knocking nails into that back fence over and over again. But every time he'd knock a nail in, he'd feel just a little bit better. Yeah. But it was kind of a pain to have to go to that back fence and drive a nail in every time he got mad. Oh, uh, yeah, I'd imagine. But he had promised his dad he would, and so he kept doing it. Okay. Well, after a couple days, he went and counted all the nails that he had driven. A couple days. All the people he had been mean to, all the people he had had a bad temper with. And in two days, he had 37 nails driven into that fence. 37? 37. Now, I'm not driving 37, but his fence oh. looked like this all across the top rail. Oh, my word. That took forever. But it did something to him. Now, this is going to sound a little weird. His dad had him drive these nails in, and something about just doing that, because it was such a pain to have to run to the fence every time he got mad, mm. he finally just kind of stopped getting so mad. Interesting. I know. I know that's not the story we're trying to tell, but the story is that he went to his dad... Because his temper was starting to calm down a little bit after about a week or two. So that's good. Yes. But he said, Dad, I'm feeling a little bit better. And his dad said, well, that's good. He said, son, I want you to go to that back fence and I want you to pull all those nails. Pull them all out? Pull he them has all like out. 500 of them in there. He had a lot. And so he began to pull all those nails because his dad told him to. And he said he'd do whatever his dad said. So he's pulling all the nails. And one at a time, he's getting them out. And... Every nail he had put in, he thinks, oh, that one was from 
when I got mad at sis, and that was when I got mad at my friend, and that's when I was mad at my teacher, and that's when I got mad, and all these nails are flying all over the place, and honestly, it's kind of getting him a little upset when he's pulling these nails out, and that last one wouldn't come out, and he's, well, I got them all out, though. That's stressful. And so he went to his dad, and he said, Dad, I got them all out, and he said, that's good, son. Mm. Let's go to that back fence real quick. He said, I'm glad your temper is starting to calm down. I'm oh. glad you're not saying the mean things that you used to say. He said, but let's go to that fence. And so he held up that board to the boy. And he said, I'm glad your temper's fixed. And I'm glad you're not saying those mean things anymore. <clears throat> but do you see that? It looks like Swiss cheese. There's a bunch of nail holes right there, isn't there? This is like one, two, there's at least three. And you see all those wounds, the dad said. He said, every one of those is a scar you left on somebody. He said, I know you put it in a board. He said, but think about what you did to the person you said that to. Oh, no. And I'm thinking to some of the things I said today. I'm, I'm sorry. That's okay. All of those things you say, they leave scars on people. And he said, son, that's good that you fixed your, your, your temper. And it's going to help you in the future. But you can't go back and unsay the things you've said. Now, you can go say you're sorry, and you are going to. Yes. You're going to go to every one of those people and apologize. He said, but there's something that's going to be stuck with those people for the rest of their lives. Oh, no. I can never be erased? Well, time does heal. Mm. But there are some horror stories I've heard about kids that were teased when they're young. Mm. And now they're older. Now they're adults. And now they're living their later years. And they're remembering the things that were told to them when they were young. Maybe by parents. Or maybe it was by friends that were their age. Oof. And things that they still think about to this day 30 40 50 years later and they still can't get away from some of the the mean harsh things that someone said about them when they were young and that's what happens we got to realize just how important it is for us to control our tongue the bible says it's the most unruly member of the body that's right it says it's like a ship's rudder a giant ship is guided by the tongue and we are guided by our words many times oh. we got to be so careful that we don't say the wrong thing. We've got to control our words. We've got to be so careful. And so, Bree, I really am sorry. And I've been talking to myself for the last few minutes because I don't want to be like that. I really am sorry. And, and I, I, I want to apologize to you guys, too, because I don't want to be like that. I want to have... You. It's okay. We all have yeah, but I'm, I'm hoping that, that uh, all the people I've said things to they are as easy to forgive as you are. So I need, I got some work to do. I got some cleanup. I got to go to that back fence. I may have to replace a board or two. Oof. But, but good lesson. God forgave me. See? And so I've got to forgive others, and I sure hope they can forgive me. So, guys, we got to be careful with our words. But I'm going to go fix some things, and we'll see you next time.